There is that. Oh, Which it ta down. takes us back to the title screen between every Wily stage. So if we really wanted to, we could get the other parts of Rush. But I don't have any idea how to get them. So we'll go into Wily stage 2. Watch you actually need Rush. It would probably simplify a lot of this. The thing is, though, this is a very merciful Mega Man. Between... Every time we beat a Wily stage, we get our energy restored for the first time ever. I don't even know how to process this information. Be grateful. So we got a smattering of really weird enemies here. Really? What the shit? Hold on. Can't help but notice the metal ninja turtles on like all the walls. Are we in the Technodrome? What do you mean? It's like Krang's Mobile Fortress from Ninja Turtles. Fuck, you can't slide if you're at the top of the ladder. Apparently Mega Man just won't slide at all. This should be the actual easiest Joe ever. Oh no, 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 no. Like, we have to check this one out. Oh yeah, this one sucks. Might actually be a better way to go up. Let's beware of moving platforms. Oh, you know what this room looks like? This looks like the room that you go in before you fight the Yellow Devil. Oh god. Well, luckily it's base, but he was a mid-boss last time. So base and treble are here this time. They're combined. He is now a demon. He does like a million damage. And he has... I wonder if we're just supposed to get the end of the stage. It's like, it sucks here. You can jump extra high because of those fans. He has the Iron Fist attack. He wants to show you his feast. Well, it was, it was from one of the older Mega Man games. He has the, the fist. Okay, so there's nothing up here to help us. He has a sister fister? The only thing that helps us up here is apparently... Base can't handle his shit at this altitude. <laughs> hmm. Okay. technically supposed to be able to fly. Well, he, no, he got his shit handled. Don't worry about it. The fact that you can't jump through these platforms, though, makes it excessively difficult. 
pretty wild. Well, I keep hitting my head on it when I need to dodge. Because he's taking on demonic form, let's try the spring. Because as we learned last time, the best way to kill a demon is to put a spring through the heart. It is a wild coil, after all. God, that's so fun. I got a new spell that I'm greatly enjoying. It's completely impractical, and I have to like have a lot of setup to make it work. But it's fucking fun. They actually hit him with both springs because he circled around. Ah, uh, it's not doing a trick though, it kinda sucks. Bombs kinda suck. Bam! Looks like the sound wave might be doing it. If I only got one hit before I died. That stage wasn't so bad, though. Actually easier than the previous stage, as far as the actual level goes. Just a bunch of Joes. And these penguin bombs. That only appear once in the level. Oh, an extra life went down the tube. And then I followed it. Oh my god. Merlin. At least Beat wasn't a piece of crap for one second. Bessie, you might be slightly tilted. It's not a matter of tilt, it's a matter of... I just don't know the game. You're also tilting a little bit. Like not, like, not off the face of the planet levels yet. I don't know, have you seen my other Mega Man playthrough? You've tilted off the face of the planet with some of the other Mega Man playthroughs. I'm just saying, the games I did know, I was having a harder time with, occasionally. Ladder's breaking my balls here, though. Skip that one. Actually, no reason to fight him. I'm glad there's some people sticking around for this, though. Right? I can always find uh, consolation, though, in the fact that it's not as bad as if it was Game Grumps playing it. What do you mean? They just take so many episodes to get anything done. Does he it's... rage like a motherfucker? I don't watch them personally, so I don't know. I just know that it takes them forever to beat a game. It's like... I don't know why the sound attack, by the way, is doing good work here. Uh, technically not even as weak. Fuck off. The blowers on the floor, though, make it really hard to dodge his attack, because you jump, then you get carried away, and he just circles around and hits you again. Also, the wall only works on the side that you enter from. For charging your shot. I really wish we didn't have to watch this every single time, though. If we're on the same continue, and we just lose a life, we should have to sit through this crap every time. 
right? He also shouldn't get do contact damage and get his attack in the same hit. Like, I have iframes, for Christ's sake. Fuck off. Like, he doesn't get off you, and the blowers in the floor make it impossible to jump away. God damn it. Okay, the coil didn't really work. Let's try the claw, it seems pretty handy. Coil didn't really work, the sound kind of worked, but wasn't too accurate because he kept getting up to my dick. And he has so many invulnerability frames too. Like if he's doing an attack, he's invincible. Welcome to the salt. Welcome to the salt. Okay, that's not too much. That's not doing much. That isn't doing bad. Holy god, I actually dodged the attack, but then he shot me right in the face. Okay. Basically the only weapon we haven't tried in one of our attempts is the fire weapon. The mighty Mega Man may fall, but he has infinite respawns. There's no limit to continues. The game's only over when I say it's over. He does too much contact damage. I, ca I can't figure out how to kill him before I die. I have no clue. His weakness is the weapon that he's using to fight me. It's not very. It's not very helpful right now. At least this level's short, and it only has one stupid enemy, and it's right here. God damn it. Remember when I made that jump, like, three times in a row? Yeah, I actually do. Pepper's Farm remembers. Part level's not bad. I just worry what comes after base. It's the wrong coil. Why do they put both coils side by side? It's a dick move. That's a good question. There we are. Oh my god. I hate the grabbing ladders in this game. They're so sensitive. Also, apparently if you stand close enough to these guys, you can shoot like through their shield, so there's that. Oh my god. What is there to try? How do you even, Koopa? This will just use Thunderbolt again, because it's like our blaster, but does a little bit more damage. It's got a bigger hitbox.
What the fuck ever? That's basically where I'm at with this boss right now. Jeez Christ. <clears throat> so, like, we're doing much more damage, but we're still back to the original problem, where he does so much contact damage, has so many invincibility frames, and I can't dodge him well enough to actually... Yeah. Because he's just, he's always powering up and charging. So I'm down to half. Like, once again, it's just a matter of learning how to dodge and hitting him with a thunder weapon. If I could try again right away, I'd probably have him dead already. It's just the fact that I have to sit through this cutscene every time I lose my tempo. I guess the freeze weapon's the next strongest. And if I miss, there's a chance it'll still hit him. So I kind of have the idea of his swooping attack now, but his rocket fist still catches me. See, it does that whenever the hell he wants. Seems the trick is to get him so that you can jump. Didn't quite work that time. And then sometimes he does these like low bullets where normally. Fuck off! Normally, he, like, shoots so that if you stand and don't jump, it misses you. But then, sometimes there's these garbage shots where, if you're standing, he hits you, but you're too close to jump away. We almost got him that time, though. If I had a single E-Tank, I would have used it a long time ago. But if I had one at this particular moment in time, we would have won that fight. And we can hit him while he's charging, which is actually an important piece of information, because he charges an awful lot. Like, after every swoop, he goes into a charging animation. Get to the other side of the screen, you ass. Once again, we almost got him, but then he just started hanging out off screen. So he'd only come down when he was basically invulnerable. Maybe they're trying to force you to move the battle upstairs, but I don't see that working out well in my favor. 
no. Although, upon thinking about it, that probably is what they're forcing you to do. I must be honest with you. Still open with the Thunder Weapon. Just works the best. After that, though, I really don't want you, Rush. Well, same to you. What if it's not all the same to him? Fine, he's a doge, just do what I say. I'm, I think I've got the basic feel of the fight, though. It's just when he tries to take it to the next stage up, that's a problem. He's gonna start with a charge attack, can't do anything about it. Oh my god. What crap. Bullshit. Balls of bullshit. I don't know if it's because we got him to halfway or if he's just programmed like that, but he started changing the rules of his pattern. Instead of doing like... But it's, it's the same patterns, just following different rules. It's charge, change sides, fire the fist weapon, and then it's supposed to go back to the same side. But sometimes he just gets his finger up my ass and never pulls it out. Sometimes the fist weapon goes, like, further across the screen, too. Like, I get him two-thirds down, and then he just does what he wants. And on the first round that time, he was all over me, so it's not based on HP. It's either positioning or some kind of rudimentary AI that makes a decision. You see, the fist weapon went really far that time. Also, I sometimes get stuck on that ledge in the middle when I don't want to. He also fires charge shots without having to charge his weapon.
Yep. And then he does that, where he, where he starts going in the direction he's supposed to, and then decides, not going to change sides and use the fist weapon right up your ass, so there's absolutely no way you could possibly dodge it. Because it tracks you, so if you jump straight up, it'll go straight up. If you go away, it'll go towards you. But this fucking platform in the middle that you can't jump through put forces you into its line of fire, because this hitbox takes up half the fucking arena. Like, sometimes it only goes, like, a centimeter, and then other times it goes all the way across the goddamn arena. Like here, it's a hit that I can't avoid. It's not doable. You get the upgraded version. You get super adapter by finding the R, U, S, and H plates. Okay, so... The Hyper Rocket Buster can be found in Turbo Man Stage or Pop Tomato after finding his Hyper Bolt. Fuck off. <laughs> 